Hey, Palmonia Gordon here with Dr. Natasha Williams, and we're talking about mental health. Health or illness? Because They're you two. said it's two different things. They are. So they are. Which one are we talking about? We can talk about both. Well, the question I was asking is, what's one thing that we could do for someone, for our culture that would be lasting, impacting, if you will, mm -hmm. because the truth is we can tell you this is what we want you to do. Right. But what about the showing? Right. Right? Are you willing to show me this is what I need you to do because showing me means you're going to have to associate with me, one. Mm -hmm. And showing me is... I believe when we show someone something uh, physically as much as possible, mm -hmm. we greatly increase the risk of them doing it and doing it right. Right. Because right. I can send you home and says, hey, you know, just go turn on thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then after they go home and do it, they say, oh, you didn't tell me that part. Right. 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 Oh, okay. So. Because I tell, I'll tell people this. The interventions, like as you're mentioning, sometimes, you know, you'll have therapists that will tell a person, go home, try this exercise, do this, do that. And I think the exercises and the coping strategies are, are key mm -hmm. as a start. Mm -hmm. If we don't understand what is fueling what is going on, then what happens is, is that those coping strategies are only band-aids, mm -hmm. right? So in the midst of these, these strategies or coping strategies, we have to understand that it's going to be uncomfortable I'm asking you to be vulnerable. So these are not things that are just gonna make you feel good mm -hmm. in the moment. It's actually created to shift things in your, in your perspective and how you think about things. Mm -hmm. And if I can prepare someone to understand that they're going to be uncomfortable, then that for me, I think is the step forward. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times the strategies that I ask somebody to do I've gone through them myself. Hmm, so I, I'm not a, a therapist that is going to, or a psychologist that sits there and says, oh, I've studied for all of these years, here you go, and, and whatever. I have my own journey, and I'm human as well. So anything that I've suggested, I've also gone through myself. I've been vulnerable. I've had heartache. I've had disappointment. And I had to figure out through a variety of means and ways. Yes, I have the training, but I had to implement some mm -hmm. of that training in my own life. So when I ask somebody to do something or a task or, 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 or fill out paperwork or something, homework, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. it's not only that I'm going to ask you to go and do it. I'm going to ask them. I go, I need you to expect that this is going to make you uncomfortable that you're going to feel like you're being vulnerable. But it is in that vulnerability, I want you to see your process. Mm -hmm. And I want you to see your healing. And that's where I think a lot of the importance is going to come. It's not just you do this and you're going to feel better tomorrow. I want my, my clients to understand that it is a journey mm -hmm. that they're going through, that it is going to be waves and ups and downs. And it's not going to be comfortable because if it's comfortable, it means that you're not shifting into your purpose. Mm -hmm. So that for me is very important. I do have an online masterclass that oh, I um, okay. awesome. that I have as well that uh, helps to helps people to start that shift in the mindset. It's called Reclaim Your Superwoman. So it's Super a, 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 a Reclaim Your Superwoman. So what it does, it's a four week masterclass mm -hmm. that uh, that I curate online, and it's to help people start that shift. Because a lot of people think in four weeks that you can, you know, that you'll you'll be completely changed. No, I'm asking you to now poke some holes in theories and in mindsets that you have maybe had for such a long period of time. So again, it's not just the the, the tools. What I'm asking you to do is maybe break mindsets that you've had from childhood, that you've mm -hmm. learned from childhood, that you maybe have learned from your ethnic upbringing as a you know, West Indian woman, as an African woman or whatever, I'm asking you to start poking holes in some of those theories mm -hmm. so that you can then start to live your own truth and your own purpose. I usually tell people, what would it look like to take off that superwoman cape, 
redefine it for yourself and put it back on as your own. I put a P on it. Right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So how does that how does that feel for you? Because what we talk about when we talk about the archetype of the of the superwoman is is that it's a it's a space in which we believe we have to achieve to. We have to, you know, so again, that box. There's been that definition of the superwoman in a certain box. And we're all trying to fit into this box. And if we don't fit, then there's something inherently wrong with us. And what I'm asking people to do is to take that and reclaim it. That you don't have to fit into that box. But what is it that God has put into your um, into your spirit in terms yeah. of what your walk and your purpose yeah. is? So that four-week master class looks at clinical experience, uh, you know, so clinical doctrine and that type of thing, but also we look at faith. And I also tell people about my personal journey. And then we curate that all together in a four week masterclass. So that, P and I tell people that people will come out differently than when they came in. Awesome. Okay, so where can they find your, your mastermind uh, WhatsApp uh, thing or find you personally? Yes, okay. So uh, my website is, uh, www.drnatashawilliams.com. You can find all of my information there, information on my masterclass, Reclaim Your Superwoman, as well as the book, Carpe Diem. You could also find me on social media as well at Dr. Natasha Williams. On, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on LinkedIn. So you can find me in those areas. No Twitter? No Twitter. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> so shift, nation, family. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of people who are silently suffering because one, they don't know. Two, they refuse to accept that this is even a possibility. And three, our culture does not make it easy, if you will. So, and I'm sure there are other factors that are in play. But I see 2020 as a powerful year, a year where we're impacting and changing and just showing up differently everywhere. And it starts with the mind. So that's one of the reasons I was so happy Dr. Natasha agreed to be here because if we're not able to change our thoughts, because they become a part of the habits and the feelings that we create. Mental health, break the stigma. We did it for when, you know, people are being abused, we did the Me Too, right? This is a necessary part of our future to promote change, to set intentions, to get a better result. Because if we allow this to continue as is, we're looking at our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. And that's how I'm going to encourage us to look at this, to say, it may not be for me, for my kids and my grandkids. I invite you to connect with Dr. Natasha, get her as a speaker at your event, um, get with her on social media, get her a master class training, and most of all, get you to a place where you have grown and achieved so much. You will look back and go, how dare I how dare me not wanting to go forward? And then because you've shifted and you know that, I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and do the same for someone else. God bless you. Thank you for stopping by this episode of Shift. I love you. Have a good day.